Uh, we're going to solve one of our problems. Uh, it's a nice little night project. Going to get rid of our flat tires. Um, going to make some rollers with stuff we had laying around the house, and plus I had to go buy some wood to make a spacer. But the rollers we had for moving the cars around work out perfect with a little spacer and the old wheels. They add up to keep the center line of the wheel right where I need it to simulate roughly a 27 inch tire. So pretty happy with that. Uh, had a friend lend me his tire machine, let me use it, so I took the old tires off and we'll get those properly disposed of, but I'm going to go ahead and make some uh, rollers that uh, keep the ride height where we want it. So we're going to go ahead and start that. So I pre-cut these uh, two by sixes. I'm just going to mark some holes. I don't know, I just felt like the 2x6s should be bolted to the metal thing because we're going to ultimately just clamp, clamp the rim to the roller so one less thing that moves, the better. No exact science to this, kind of making it up as I go along. But I can't help it. I got to make them all the same. Just going to clamp it in place while we drill it. And of course I don't want to buy any hardware, so I just kind of look around in the drawer to see what I got. And I got bolts that are just not quite long enough. So we just make some easy spacers. Not more complicated than that. So you got to thank Packard Engineering because the exact span of their wheel fits a 2x6. So we're just going to use some ratchet straps to hold it down. It's commercially available stuff and maybe I could have fixed all the flats but this is costing us basically 13 bucks everything else I had laying around the house so quite uh, quite happy with the low cost on this okay there we go it's not going anywhere that's basically it so we can't put them on the car yet on the ground. All right, according to Beth's list, that should take care of the constant flat tires. Now we just need to work on ride height and uh, I've got some clever ideas for that. I don't know how clever they are, but they're cheap. There's stuff laying around the house, so we'll work on that next. So now we're going to work on setting the ride height. So we, I've cut the springs out of the car because it's going to make it difficult for us to play with it. And we're just going to make a, just a simple little screw jack with uh, some leftover parts, some threaded rod, so that we can uh, raise and lower both control arms. So, pretty simple. I'm just going to utilize the shock plate from the bottom. I cut these off the old rusty shocks. So 
Got some threaded rod laying around. Did have to go bag a bag of uh, half inch nuts. We didn't have uh, a bunch of those laying around. So, pretty simple construction. This, two lock nuts. Tighten this up. I'm going to keep this so it still spins. So the threaded rod will spin in there. Then at the top here, we're just going to weld the nut to the frame. And so when we have that nut on the frame, I'll be able to turn this and be able to move the A arms up and down. So pretty simple stuff. But uh, we should be able to dial in our ride height. Uh, after we put the take the chassis off the shacks in. So there we go. It's installed. Nuts welded on there. And really just turn this up and down and I can raise and lower the right height as necessary. So I'll put the wind on the other side and then we'll work on setting the right height for the back end. We got the front suspension dialed in we can tune it now. But now with these leaf springs, uh, we're not going to be able to lower the rear end where we want it to get the frame six inches off the ground. So I know we're going to build a triangulated four link with the new frame. So we're going to uh, make some temporary supports here that we can adjust the suspension, cut the back of these leaf springs off, then we'll be able to set the frame where we want it. So we're going to get started doing that now. I turned the camera off because I needed the extension cord and was too lazy to go get one so that I could run the grinder to cut the leaf springs off. And then I forgot to turn the camera back on. So I changed my mind. Instead of just welding a piece of angle iron from the rear end to the frame to set the height, I just took some simple threaded uh, rod, welded it up to the frame, and it's adjustable. So we spent some time this morning uh, getting the frame all dialed in, so now it is at ride height, and I can tweak each corner with a threaded rod if I need to to get it set. So right now it's set at bottom of oil pan is six inches off the ground, and then when we make the new frame, that's what we use as a gauge. But right now, this is perfect for us to use as a mock-up. <laughs> 